Today we're going to look at using a toolbar with RAD PDF Viewer. RAD PDF Viewer is part of Telerx RAD controls for Silverlight WPF Control Suite for .NET XAML development. The RAD PDF Viewer control allows you to view PDF documents right within your Silverlight applications without the need for an external viewer. You can scroll, pan, and zoom PDF files to get a better view of your content. And in this video we'll look at doing just that with the RAD toolbar. Let's go ahead and jump into Visual Studio 2010 and get started. So here we are, we're back inside of Visual Studio 2010 and we're working on the same project that we worked on in the previous section. So just as a quick recap, uh, under the references we have a couple of different references here that's needed to use the PDF viewer. So we have a telerate.windows.document.fixed.zip a controls.fixed.documentViewers, and then finally a telerec.windows.controls. So once we have our references in place, I simply added a sample PDF file to our application. Inside the XAML, we actually have Telerik, and then we have RAD PDF Viewer, and then we're just giving it a name. So we left off by actually adding PDF to the RAD PDF Viewer by using a stream. And inside this stream, we're simply setting the document source to a new PDF document source with the string. The only thing that you're going to need to make sure that you have is the using statement to telerik.windows.documents.fixed. Now that we did a quick recap uh, what we did in the previous section, we'll go ahead and we'll run the app. So once we run the app, we can see here that we had our quick loading screen and now we have our PDF document. So we'll go back to our application and now we'll go ahead and we'll start adding in the toolbar. So one of the great things about using the RAD toolbar with the RAD PDF viewer is that you have the ability to use commands. So you can set the data context on the toolbar to be bound to an instance of the RAD PDF viewer and from there you can add commands for certain things such as maybe opening a file dialog to printing to zooming in to zooming out. Let's go ahead and look and see how we would do that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my layout route. We drop in our grid.row definitions. I'm going to simply go back to references. I'm going to go add references and then we'll just go ahead and we're going to filter them and I'm going to add in telerik.windows.controls.navigation. So I found navigation and now I'm just going to simply hit OK. The other control that's needed for the RAD toolbar is telerik.windows.controls. We already had that added to this project. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop in our RAD toolbar. And so our RAD toolbar, we're actually setting the data context to be binding to the element name of PDF viewer, which we set right here for our RAD PDF viewer. And the path is going to be equal to commands. So now that we have our toolbar in place, I'm going to simply come back up here and I'm going to drop in another XML namespace that maps to controls, uh, telerik.windows.controls, where we can start adding other things like maybe buttons in our toolbar that is displayed right here to perform actions on our RAD PDF viewer. So the first item that I'm going to drag in here is actually going to be a RAD button. So we see we're using controls, RAD button, we're giving it a padding, but then the interesting part comes right here where we're setting this command. So this command is actually binding to the open PDF document command on our PDF viewer element. Once we did that, I have a tooltip service that's actually popping up a tooltip saying open, but then I have an image that is displaying a source of open, and this is actually contained inside the fixed document viewers and then we set to no stretch. So we have just added a button that will open a PDF viewer and once they select a PDF viewer it will actually display it inside of the PDF viewer control. So if we run the application we'll just go start without debugging and we come up here in our toolbar of course this is where our PDF viewer lives and we select open and we're in our temp directory and I'm just going to double click on sample I'm going to give this a second, we see that we just loaded our PDF viewer automatically. Now this was with absolutely no code behind or anything, just simply that command 
on our rad tool bar. So now that we saw just how easy it was to add in the first command which opens a file, let's look at printing. So for printing we're going to do basically the same sort of thing here except for our binding command is going to be print PDF document command and of course we have a tooltip and then we have an image source. So let's go back and let's try this application again and of course we're going to go ahead and we're going to load our document. I'm just going to select the sample again and if we hit the print button we can see that now we're able to print this PDF document. So now that we've seen a sample of opening PDF files and printing PDF files, I've went ahead and added in several other buttons and wired them up to other commands that's available to us. From things such as paging up, to paging down, to zooming in, to even zooming out. And then of course to setting the zoom level and then finally to panning the document. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. And we'll just go ahead and we'll load that same PDF file that we've been working with. We see that we have our print button, we have our page up and down, and as you notice with the commanding, the page up button is disabled automatically for us, so you don't have to worry about adding in logic for that. We could of course navigate to different pages. In this example we're navigating to the third page. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, we can also set the zoom in level if we would like. And then finally, we can pan. If you would like to see this integrated with the Rad Rich text box, then come back for the last part of the series. Of course, thank you for watching, and please tune in to tv.telleric.com for more videos, and check out blogs.telleric.com for the latest news and announcements.